Hey there clan and welcome to a little video that's been a little bit overdue, I do apologise for that, just been rather busy with the month of January with my new job and various other things. Uh, but this video is the video that I'm going to be talking about, games that I'm excited for in 2016. Now firstly let me just say this off the bat, I've only, the first part of this video is going to be games that, I either, that either have confirmed release dates or we at least know the roughly which month they are coming out. And then there are games that don't have release dates. Now, I've had a wee look through the calendar of 2016. Now, there aren't that many on my list. There are one, seven, seven, seven of them on my list. And I'm going to go through each one and explain why I'm excited for them. Just for the pure fact that I think I kind of need to. Because I can't just say, I'm excited for this, and then move on. So without further ado, let's cue the intro, and let's do this. Right, let's start this off with a game that you're probably going to be surprised that I'm actually excited for. And that is XCOM 2, which comes out next month in February. Uh, now, the reason I'm excited for this is not because I played the original XCOM back in the 80s or 90s, because I wasn't born in the 80s, and I didn't play many games in the 90s that I probably should. But I actually did play the reboot to the XCOM franchise. I actually have it on PC, and I played it, and I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. It was frustrating, it was cheap, but I still enjoyed my time with it. I, before anyone asks, I played it on the easiest difficulty because I like to have fun and not pull my hair out. Which I probably will eventually because I've got a lot of hair to pull. But I am excited for XCOM 2 just because of the fact of one little thing about it. We lost! In XCOM 1, the statistics apparently according to the developers is that most people's first run through of the game, they lost. Like, they had the statistics. Apparently, like, I can't remember the statistics of that, but I'm pretty sure. But apparently, we, the highest majority lost their first one in XCOM, which is understandable because that game is brutally difficult if you don't know what you're doing. And in XCOM 2, you are the resistance. You're basically the last remnants of humanity that are not either under the control of the aliens or have not just grown up in this world and accept the fact that, yeah, aliens rule the world. That's just how it is. Uh, and I'm actually excited just for that fact, the fact that we will be playing the ragtag, we'll be playing the underdogs, the ones that aren't supposed to win, and I kind of really, really do like that idea of being the resistance, of fighting back against the aliens, going against some symmetrical odds, and it looks like they've undone a lot of new class modifications due to that fact that you don't have access to the highest technology, you don't have access to this, but at the same time, you also have access, you've also adapted your technology and made sure that all things are a bit more prioritised. And apparently the soldier customization, which I have seen, looks absolutely beautiful. You, you could make, you could, it's a lot more detailed, a lot more thought has went into it because the character, the soldier editing in XCOM 1 was not that good. It was very bare bones, very basic. XCOM 2 is basically up the ante and giving you the ability to customize pretty much everything. And when I get XCOM 2, I will definitely be making a few people I know just because I want to see them horribly die. I'm that evil. Uh, but yeah, I actually am looking forward to XCOM 2 and I am excited to see what is different about this game. Um, I will play it. I'm not too sure if I'll record any of it. I'm still having a little think. It seems like a game maybe I could stream. I'll have a little think about that. But I am going to be picking it up at some point and I'm going to be playing it because it looks like a lot of fun. But that's it. Let's move on to the next one. And the next game, of course, is Unravel. I'm, I, I'm actually rather excited for this fact. This was announced back in E3 of 2015 when a... The developer of the game came on and showed us Yarny for the first time. And the reason I actually gravitated towards this is because of the developer himself who was talking about it. You could tell that he was visibly nervous. His, his hands were shaking. He was His throat was clawed. You could tell that he was visibly nervous that he was displaying his creation and going to let it get judged. And it kind of I made, it feel, it made me feel bad for him at the same time because Microsoft just shoved the guy on there. But at the same time, I could feel also the passion that he had for this game. And that's something that kind of gives me a little bit more leeway to actually buy this game. And the fact that he has passion for it. Yeah, this is his baby, basically. And that he wants to share it with the world and show us it. And the game actually looks beautiful. It's about a yarn creature called Yarny that is trying to get somewhere. And it's a little simple isometric platformer. You're jumping from place to place. And you use yarn to help yourself get there. And it just looks beautiful it looks gorgeous and i actually actually really want to i actually feel for this little yarn creature that i want to actually 
help it complete its journey. So I will be picking this up on February as well, and I'm I'm excited for it. So it does look really cute, and it does look like a very simple platformer, and it does. It's normally not the type of game I go for, but I do want to pick this up and at least give my support to this developer who genuinely has passion for the industry and for making games. So I definitely want, I love supporting developers like that, and so I will be buying this game. Probably day of, in all honesty, depending on the price. I'm not too sure if the price has been confirmed yet. But it is a game that I am excited for. And the next one on the list is Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. Um, the reason this is I'm excited for this is because this feels like it's going to be the end of Nathan Drake's story. Now, I feel Uncharted 3 was a bit of a nice end to him. But Uncharted 4, it definitely feels like though they're trying to wrap everything up. Now... I know the Uncharted franchise is not everyone's favourite. It's Some people say it's just to Tomb Raider. I like the Uncharted series. I like the voice acting. I like how beautiful it was. It was one of the first games I played on PlayStation 3. And I fell in love with it. And I loved it. It was a great example of what the system could do. As well as what kind of game this was going to be. And I really did like that aspect of it. And I've, I've liked seeing the evolution of the character of Nathan Drake. Learn a bit more about his past. Who he is. That kind of thing. And I am interested to see where Uncharted 4 takes him and his journey and to bring back old characters and new characters interested in his brother of course I am excited to see where they're going with this game and I want to see if this is probably going to be the proper end because I'm getting a very very finale feel from this game that either Nathan Drake is going to die or this is going to be his final final adventure just to set himself up it feels as though that is but in all honesty, I'm leaning towards more him dying just because of the pure fact that Nathan Drake is the type of character that doesn't stop. He is a type of person who will continue to go on adventures until he can no longer go on adventures. That's the type of character I think. So I am excited to see who he is. Not as excited for other games like uh, XCOM and Unravel. I'm a bit more excited for those games than I am Uncharted 4. It's definitely not going to be a must buy, but it is a game I'm interested in because I do like the franchise, I do like the series, and Naughty Dog as a developer are a pretty damn good developer, and I hope they bring back Crash Bandicoot. That's just me. That, let's move on. But yeah, Uncharted 4, I am excited for I want to see where it's going to go. We'll see We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed it's at least decent. And of course, the next one on the list is going to be Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Now, I really like The Last Man... The... Mankind. I, I love Mankind. I really did like the last Deus Ex game. Deus Ex Human Revolution. It was my first Deus Ex game, just to make that clear. And I really liked it. I liked that idea of the game. And I did like the fact that it did give me the option to do a completely non-lethal playthrough or a lethal playthrough. I did like that. Now, the only thing I didn't like about Deus Ex was the story overall was rather weak. But it was still at least a decent story, and I did like most of it. I wasn't too keen on the ending, personally. The endings. Um, but I did at least like the story overall, and I did like the character of Adam Jensen. So I am excited to see with Mankind Divided where they're actually going to be going with that, because it is going to be touching on a very sensitive subject of the fact of segregation. It will be touching on the topic of segregation, which is a very sensitive topic due to the fact that the whole plot of the story seems to be the fact that after the events of the SX Human Mankind Human Revolution was that after the augmented people went schizo and tried and killed probably quite a lot of people, including fellow augmented people, uh, humanity is basically terrified of them. People with augments are shunned, beaten up, killed even, basically lynch mobs. And there's a basically a faction of the augmented pe augment people who are sick and tired of it. Who are taking it to the next level, doing terrorist acts, and Adam Jensen as a augmented individual is on the government whose side, who he's just in, down, and actually like is basically trying to take care of the terrorists while also trying to understand that he is hated by a lot of people because people judge people purely by the fact that they have augmentations, regardless if they needed them for life saving reasons or cosmetic reasons. Because in the Deus Ex universe, there are people with augmentations who didn't really have a choice to get augmentations. It was either that or die. And I want to see how they're going to touch upon this. And how well they'll be able to handle it. Especially with such a sensitive topic and the whole idea of putting them in basically camps. Which uh, was very much like what happened in America with the Japanese and of course, you know, the other place. Um, I am interested to see how they're going to touch upon that and if they'll do a decent job. Deus Ex, as it is... It's going to be quite interesting to see us. So I'm excited to pick up for the story and also for the fact that I'll be able to play through the game without killing anyone again. I love making things hard for myself, don't I? 
But yeah, again, I am excited to see the new Augmented Era implementation with uh, Adam Jensen's new abilities. I'm interested to see where that goes, and hopefully it's at least decent. And of course, now, the next two games on this list are basically games that don't really have release dates yet. We do know they're coming out roughly between now and early 2017, so I'm going to just say these two very briefly on what I think about them. First one, of course, is Kingdom Hearts 3. I am actually rather excited for this game, uh, mostly because I just basically played the Kingdom Hearts franchise for the first time about a year or two ago. I got a PlayStation 2, I bought those games, I played them, and then they announced 1.5 and 2.5. You can tell my reaction was not pleasant. But uh, yeah, I played the originals uh, in modern times, and I really did like them. I liked the gameplay, I liked the character, there was a couple of issues here or there I had with it. Um, some story aspects kind of drove me nuts. Mostly Sora, who is a moron, but I did like the themes. I did like the themes and how they approached them, using the Disney mythology while also creating their own little world and all that. I liked that aspect. I really did fall in love with that, and I could definitely see if I would played that when I was younger, when I was kind of really into Disney, I could have fell in love with this. I understand why so many people love this franchise and have like invested so much money in it and bought it so many times, and the many games that are out there, the plushies, the toys, the CDs, the soundtracks, everything. I definitely see why people love it, and it is a game that, they, it got me hooked, I, even after, long after it's release, and then Kingdom Hearts 3 announced, I'm like, I'm buying it, I like it, I like the look of it, and I want to see what they do, especially now since Disney now own Marvel and Star Wars, so that should be interesting. Um, I do want to see where they're going to take Kingdom Hearts, especially with the story, and hopefully it will be out sometime in late 2013, 2016, hopefully. That's all I've got real say on it, and I do, I'm excited for it. And of course, there's no doubt you knew this was going to be Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, let's put Mass Effect 3 out of the way right now. I'm not talking about that anymore. I am done talking about that game. I'm excited for Mass Effect Andromeda for one reason. I love the Mass Effect universe. I love the characters. I love the races. I love the music. I love the universe. I love sci-fi. And I am excited for Mass Effect Andromeda because it's a new team of developers who are taking on a franchise. And from what I've seen already, it has me excited. They are starting with a clean slate for me. Mass Effect Andromeda will be the game that I will play, I will pick up, I will play it. I will hopefully enjoy it and I will get to say good things about it. I want to see this story going. I want new characters. I want new planets. I want new companions. I want new squad mates. I want new weapons. I want to see new ships. I want the mass, the team that are working on Mass Effect Andromeda to make this game good. I love the Mass Effect universe. I want to see more stories told in it. I don't care if it's video games, movies, TV series, books, comic books. I want to see more stories told. So that is why I'm excited for Mass Effect Andromeda. Because I want to see more stories in this sci-fi universe that I love. This is the sci-fi universe I have connected with most. Like Everyone says they're more connected to Star Wars or Star Trek. Mass Effect is my Star Wars or Star Trek. I am excited for it. I want to see this go more. That is why I want to play Mass Effect Andromeda. Why I'll be picking it up on day of release. Why I'll probably be pre-ordering it. Because I am excited for it. And I want to play it. I want to see what this new team can do. I want to see a new hero and protagonist. I want to see that happen. That's me. I'm not counting Mass I'm that Mass the Mass Effect trilogy is done. Shepard's story is done. This is a new story. With new characters and a new galaxy. So it's a fresh start. We'll see where it takes us. Where we can boldly flee. We'll see where it takes us, that's all. I want to take it to take us somewhere good. So we'll see where we go. Other than that, that's pretty much all the games that I'm excited for in twenty sixteen. There are plenty of other ones I didn't mention, but I haven't seen too much about them, so I can't really say much on That being said, though, I want to know what games you're excited for, Clan. What games in 2016 are you looking forward to playing the most? Don't, you don't know limit. You could say as many as you want, but do understand, also say why you're excited. Don't just say this game, this game, this game, this game. Why are you excited for them? Let me know that. Other than that, I think that's where I'll wrap things up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to click that subscribe button for more of my content. Other than that, I'll see you all next time. Ciao for now.
Mwah.